uh, yesterday. We've just got to take them off a little bit and uh, trim them up a, a bit more. Uh, a little bit of fine tuning, which Marty will be out here doing very soon. We've also got the planks underneath done. Um, which you should be able to see in there. All the planks that we started out a few months ago, we've got nine in there now, plus a repair to the Kielsen. Um, we're going to repair that keel a bit more. So we're a long way into getting it done now. And then of course when we've done that we've got to uh, go through all those planks going down the boat um, and check them out. And probably I, I'm going to have to recork all of them because they've opened up a bit more than a bit I should say. Uh, got all our well, benches out. We've got this big old box and then we've got a couple of tables. And I should be laying out some tools. The weather's not brilliant today, it's a, it's a bit windy. We're, we're looking at a nice overcast sky. And the way the weather's very unsettled so you can't really say what we're going to get in terms of weather. Just have a look under here and uh, you can see we've started there as well. Um, some of the planks are out. There's a couple of repairs. We're going to put new ribs in. Hopefully by the end of the week, that's say about Sunday, we'll have got another couple of planks in there. Uh, short ones of course, but um, Two out of nine, leave seven. I'm quite happy uh, on that. We're starting this side a little bit different to what we did before. Um, I started on the port side, around on the port side, um, and put in a 12 foot plank as the starter, and worked my way to the, the keel. This time we're starting on the starboard side when we get to it. And, we're going to go from the keel outwards. Uh, I'm expecting to do less on this side in terms of work. Um, than what we did on the port side. It hopefully will be just planks here and some small repairs. Then of course we've got the transom, uh, which I'm pulling off that bottom piece. Um, and when that's done, and we round the back here on this uh, starboard side, we'll see exactly what needs to be done, and hopefully I can just patch it up. And I'll take the shortest route on the transom, simply because I need to get this boat back in the water, and don't need it out longer than what she's been. As you can see, we've, we, we did a repair there to the doubler underneath, uh, that's all that I'll be uh, fared in. And all the planks on there are done now. And they've all got to be trimmed off. I'm just going to get these tools laid out now. Before we start the work. You can just see the tools we sort of lay out. The chisels couple of small planes, the block plane, which is the favourite really that we use in the Ilkson. Um, and the rest are fairly standard hand tools. This I use quite a lot to do the screws on uh, the final part of it. I run them in with a drill and then I do them up hand tight with that couple of saws, as you can see, uh, squares, bevels, a few rulers. Uh, I use this one to knock the plank in. And then over there we've got some 
electric tools. That's the planer in the, this box. This one's the multi-tool. Then there's uh, two battery screwdrivers, uh, a detail sander. This is a saw I use to cut the, the planks width. And we've got our workbenches. Underneath, uh, there's another sander there. There's some screws. Um, we've got some west under there. A grinder in there. Mm -hmm. There's some more chisels. Um, we've got a workbench there. Clamp. A couple of more tools in there. We don't seem to use that bench much. But we may do yet. Scissors come in handy when we're cutting bits of labels, nails, copper nails, and the robes. Assortment of screws. That's the robe. The copper nail we use. I'm down on that now. Uh, I've got another box to get ready. So I use this as much as I can, the nail rather than the screw. Uh, uh, superior, I think, in terms of holding power. And if you make a mistake, it's easy rectified. This one is uh, what I use to cut the out, I go over the screw holes, I cut the round the screws and I just pull the planks out and I take the screw out afterwards. I put that on a an electric drill. It's got more torque. I prefer the drills really with a battery. The battery drills are good because you you can be mobile but I do I do still use um, a cord drill. So I do find that's um, that's all the old wood that's come out, a lot of the rubbish wood. Um, so yeah we're ready really. Just waiting for Marty to come out. Um, and take those last two planks off on the side there and get ready now to get them uh, in. What we will do is we'll we'll put on what we call um, a John Smith's epoxy, uh, which will go right into the wood. It penetrates the wood quite well. You can see I've used it here where it's darker uh, on that wood, and we'll do that again. I've used some up there. We'll be putting more on. We've cleaned these down uh, nice and smooth, uh, getting that ready. So we're finally getting there. Some bungs to go in, in these uh, little screw holes. Be a few more as the copper nails gone in here. Copper nails, copper nails, screws. And where we can we put wooden bungs, if we can't we just put a filler in there. Thank you for watching. We're just putting this last plank in. We've got those in. We've now got the bottom in on this side. And March is outside fine tuning, which we're going to go and have a look at. That's our workspace down the back end of the boat. And I'm just going to come off the boat on the ladder. And we take this. See Marty's out there 
just fine tuning that plank. We spoiled it in into this space just here. And she's now ready to go in. We've got the others done. We scarf those in. Marty the artiste. She's also putting a bevel on there. We've also been blackberry picking. One of the perks of the job here in the summer is that there's tons of blackberries. The view from just the outside. We got the flanks. Using a rubber mallet there with some lead shot. It's a bit of weight but doesn't damage the plank. Joining the old to the new, this was the plank that uh, was all one piece. Here's the here's the piece that came off it. This one that was uh, part of the plank. It wasn't in that bad condition. It's just that um, I'd used I had to cut off the back. Uh, I had to cut off the end just to do the back up so in the end I took it all the way back to where that, that join was and took the whole lot off and that's just right what we're fine tuning now we put a an epoxy on there and it's a two part um, what I call 50-50, uh, it's the John Smith really, it's called Ligno, impregnating epoxy, and I use that on most of the wood, and I'll be putting that on the bottom here, where we've uh, finishing, the seams are opening up there, unfortunately, because he's been out so long and we've got a dry sort of summer, um, so there's still some more repairs, but the plan is now, once we've got this one up, we're We've started over there cleaning out um, and we will uh, start in that spot over there as that takes two people mainly to get those planks moving in place. Back comes Marty with a finely honed plank. This is 
I think I'm going to have to give her a hand. It's a two person job really. I'm going to get out from behind the camera and uh, we'll get this into position. And what I'm going to try and do is 